John here. So I'm just back to my wife's car to give it an oil change and then uh, I see uh, some damage there under the seat at it's a rip bumper cover uh, down there and uh, a few things a few things popped out of line so I asked the wife hey what happened here she doesn't know why you always got to blame me I'm like well this is your car you're the only one that drives it and uh, she doesn't know what happened so I'm assuming somebody backed into backed into it at a parking spot or whatever I've been putting off this uh, this project here so there's a camera a forward looking camera right uh, right here so when you put it in here uh, when you back up you get that sensor there's sensors all around the car one of those 360 deals and this forward looking camera is always getting pelted with whatever road grime salt and blah 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 so it doesn't shine good anymore you could just barely make out stuff so I bought the piece I think it was last year and uh, here it is uh, this is all it is right a little camera a little pigtail I, so I bought the piece thinking oh, I'll just snap that out and snap it in apparently it's much more involved than that you can't just snap it in and snap it out even though it looks like you can I gotta take this whole bumper cover off everything right open a hood do all that business just for this little camera but since I gotta take it off anyways I'm gonna try to uh, try my luck at hot staple in the corner here see if I can popcorn this back together for the time being uh, so maybe that's a better look uh, see if I can get that cleaned up but in the meantime let's see if I can get this cover off uh, let me show you what that camera looks like too all right so it shows this part shows the front camera if you put it in drive that's all you can see blur <laughs> that's the garage in front of you so we're gonna see if we can rectify that uh, if you look at this uh, let me close this door this display here the two cameras underneath the mirrors are, are much clearer. Of course, the back one is uh, clear. Let's go backwards. You can see everything there. This is a kind of a dark lit garage back there. That's right up against the wall. Uh, but out in the sunlight, the other cameras work good. This thing is horrible. Just horrific. You can't see. It, you know, we're supposed to be looking at the garage. You can't even make it out. So that's what I'm going to replace. Uh, well, let me let me just start taking bolts off, and then I'll tell you what I did because I'm not sure where to where to start here and I'm sure we're gonna have to get into uh, you know taking some moldings off or at least inside moldings uh, inside uh, covers there I don't know I'll let you know <laughs> alright looks like an accident so I think I gotta uh, I gotta figure it out but I think I can show you what I did if not you're gonna have to hang around and watch me put it back together so the first thing I did was took out um, uh, let me get my light here was took out these uh, bolts that you see right here they're uh, 15 torques so there was there was one here right in the corner two three you don't have to remove that one it's just like a little uh, guide four five six and then there was a uh, this little hidden fella seven just under the rubber rubber piece but that's just um, you see them hooks there it's just uh, you can see it just slides on so once that once we get that back on and plugs in so th so that was that and then uh, everything was still tight so I was like okay now what's next uh, because this was already popped out I could see that the uh, clips were just popped out let me go show you on this side because it's gonna be a little easier I got a light set up um, and once they all right so the second thing I did forget about that what I just said I did the top piece first then I went out here and uh, again everything is basically 15 torques or uh, I don't know what socket that is. It is a, uh, let me try to help you out here. It is a, I'm blind as a bat. Are bats blind? I think they are. Sorry about that. Seven. It's a seven, seven millimeter and a 15 Torx. That's all the tools you need. Seriously, just two tools. And uh, so the next thing I did was take out these. On an in inner skirt here, the uh, tor there are 15 torques, one, two, three, four, and I peeled back this a little bit, and that exposed. Um, uh, so, I mean, I'm getting ahead of myself. Oh crap, that's kind of pinched in there now. Let me uh, unpinch that. Jesus, seriously. Um, so, so there's a hole there. First of all, you got to pop this this. Uh, molding out and like I said they're just the plastic plastic uh, clips in there they came out really easy and I didn't have I didn't take the whole thing off 
uh, just because I just took one, two, three popped out. And then you can see this. You need to get that bolt out of there, right? And then, uh, then here's the hidden one. There was a hidden one that was behind the skirt here. And it's, you'll have to watch me put it back together, but it's basically right here. This, this hole, it comes from the top down because this is metal. It comes from the top down and, and uh, holds this uh, bumper cover up. Uh, and then, then I was like stuck because the thing wasn't moving still. So let me go in there and show you what I did under there. And you can probably get to this just laying on the ground. But I'll have to show you from underneath. Uh, and underneath here, there was, uh, what the hell were we? One, two bolts. I think those were torques, or they might have been uh, the hacks. I'm not sure. When I put everything back together, I'll have to kind of pay attention. And uh, I didn't touch anything else except for, oh yeah, I did. Uh, so, so this skirt is supposed to be up on top. So you have to take one, two more, three out. Well, that's not, just two there. Uh, see this skirt here? I don't know where the other one is. So, uh, might be over here. Sorry, I'm all over the place. But uh, you'll have to watch it when I put it back together. It's going to make a lot more sense. So this skirt here was uh, kind of like this. So you have to take them three bolts out, right? And then these two. So it basically left everything loose down here because I was unsure which which to take off. Like, do you take it off here? Does this whole piece come with it? Nope. It's just uh, what was it? Just just releasing this and that. This kind of slips into it. You'll see when I take it off. Uh, and that was pretty much it. It was fairly easy, but again, it's hard to explain. You know, and I couldn't do it as I went along just because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. So it was a lot of trial and error. You don't want to waste your time like I'm doing now. So you'll have to watch it, put, put it back together. So basically now this thing's ready to come off. And I think there is one wire hooking everything up. And uh, all I want to do is get to this camera. And while it's off, I'm going to try to fix that over there. So let me sit this camera down and I'll show you how that comes off. It, oh, one, one, one last step. So I was stuck after all the bolts were come off. I knew I had basically all the bolts off and I couldn't figure this mechanism out here. I was trying to pull down, like figuring they were pop pins like the plastic ones. You pull this straight out. Just grab behind the, the molding there. Grab your hand behind there. And uh, like so, right? And just pull this straight out. It, it just slides right out. It did a little, little pop pop, but nothing, nothing broke. Nothing seemed to break. It came out really easy, both sides. A lot of dirt fell because there was crud in there, but um, so just pulling that straight out. You can see the tabs; they kind of just uh, fit. They're they're at a 90 on the body panel. So when you slide that in, you could probably see a little bit of the, uh, you know, it just plugs in. So that was that. And then now it's ready to come off. So let me put this camera down. It's probably a good idea if you got something to set it on besides cement, but so I'm working with here. So then you just lift, uh, just kind of lift straight up and hold it because it's a little bit heavy, not not hugely heavy, but it was a little surprising at first. Just pull straight up and uh, it should come right out. See if I can hold it. Pull straight up and out. And uh, there you have it. So it's there's one there's one uh, one connection here. Oh it's a big mamma jamma. I'll have to show you over here. All right, so it's just that one big honking connection there. Uh, so I just threw down some cardboard, made a little bed for it. Uh, where to go? So it's over here. What I ended up doing is uh, you got room if you got somewhere to set it down or somebody to hold it. So I had to pick this red piece out, right? And then uh, you just fold that uh, white white fell out. There's a little sandy, crunchy deal going on, but that that folds right down. I only have one hand, and it pops right out of the pin. So that's that. So, let's see here. That's the broken side. I'm going to try to mend that, clean everything up. Uh, what are we here for? This guy. We're here for this fella. This little doohickey. Torx. Three torques get that thing out. So there's no way to do this without taking the grill off. Uh, and then it looks like the, uh, the wire just snakes along in them tabs and unplugs there. So we'll go get that and see if we can do that easy enough. So I'm not sure 
if uh, this is an Acadia, but it's the Denali version. I'm not sure if this part number for this is different, but I did notice there's different cameras for Acadias. And uh, I got it on eBay. I think I paid 70 bucks. I don't know if you can make out that uh, that part number. And I don't know if that's the OEM part number or the one they're storing this at, wherever I got it from. But it's the same exact one, and we're going to use that. So it's just a matter of torque. So let me get this. Uh, let me get this. Oh. So I don't know if you can see this. This little red tab gets forced up, and then right on the side here, you'll see it's just a push pin. You know, push that in, and that sucker comes out. Easy peasy. <laughs> Got to take the whole bumper off. The whole bumper cover has to come off for a simple little camera. I was putting this off just because I knew it was going to be a chore, but honestly it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Let's see, I think one around here, one around here, 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 and plug the around here. Alright, so for this crack piece, uh, what I did is took all the bolts off the lower balance there and loosened up anything that I thought was uh, holding this thing together and uh, it kind of just snapped right in place. You could see the line there. See the line? That's uh, on that side. And then uh, of course the line out here. Once this is all cleaned up, we might not even see that. But uh, let me go get my hot stapler and uh, see if we can repair this. So I'm just going to push it together more, throw some hot staples in there. And uh, that's that, and I might not even get this piece because it is, uh, it'll be a hairline. If this other stuff cleans up, it might, might not. Either way, it's pretty low on the car, you can't even see it. Wow, it's tough to get old, man. Can't see nothing. There we go. We just need a little bit of contact. So this is going to go right here, right? I'm just going to melt that sucker right in place, but I'm going to kind of, with my other hand, just kind of, uh, push it into place, right? We'll get it a little hot. We'll go to button. That's one. Now I'm just going to go right up at a 45. Got that one taken care of. I'm not going to worry about this lip here. Uh, I think it cracked there because this piece is missing. It's not missing, it's just a, you know, a cutout. So it was like a, you know, weak, <coughs> weak place. So I'm just going to keep going like that. <coughs> <laughs> you basically end up with a big zipper and uh, I got overzealous. I pushed the staple too hot right through so it kind of ruined it but like I said I'm probably going to get a new piece but if you got a body guy you could probably fix all this. Um, you know just uh, a little bit of filler and stuff. I don't know if you can see. So basically the crack is here right and then there's where I push through kind of sealed itself but <laughs> looks like a little scuff there's a, little, a couple little oops a couple little tits hanging there but uh, the staple went right through I don't know if you can make that out uh, like I said the, the plastic melts right in filled it in but there's the crack I'm gonna see if I can get rid of some of these scratches more uh, but that's a fix and then if you got a body guy like I said he can he can fill all that in and, and that'll work I might get a new piece I might not even worry about it I don't know see what the wife says let's put her on all right, so I tightened up, uh, tightened up the bolts that I had loose, and I'm just gonna call this a fix. So it was all about the uh, the camera, the uh, lower piece. I'm gonna have to repair that. Too bad I blew a staple right through it. Although you can barely see it, oh, I also cracked this up with a fluid film just to help protect it back here because I'm not going to uh, worry about, let me see, how was this? 
So those two little things you could just hang on, and then uh, we'll go around. I'll show you, show you what I'm going to do. <laughs> I, I, I didn't hook it up yet, but so I didn't put the cover on yet. But the, the crack was down there. You can barely see it. If I didn't screw up that little staple, which you can barely see that, I pushed the staple right through it. Uh, so the crack, you could see a little bit here, uh, but it came out pretty good, considering. So this might be difficult to show you everything just because uh, with the camera angle. So I'm going to pick this up a little bit, All right? And you can see the tabs; they're going to fit into there, and then we'll just push it in. <laughs> it's that easy, right? Uh, we'll do the other side, and I'll show you where the bolts go. I mean, look at that. Plugged right in, perfect. Set it over here. It's already lined up, just got to push it in. Yeah, that's pretty simple stuff there. Uh, so, I think, uh, what are we going to do? Go underneath? <laughs> Oops, forgot to plug that plug back in, but you can see it plugs right in there, so I got enough room to reach in there and do that otherwise you uh don't snap your bumper and hook that up first <laughs> it's probably a little easier i think i can reach in there i got a pit down there so i can reach up in there i can reach it from here too so don't forget to plug your shit in all right so what are we looking at here we're on the driver's side and uh if you have the opportunity to take your wheel off probably be a little easier but i'm not going to worry about it so there's one bolt here one uh hex it was a just a regular hex nut that goes uh peel that back a little bit that booger gets plugged into that speed nut there. Let's see if we can drive her home. All right, and then uh, there was this hidden one that is uh, up behind the corner, but this goes like this, comes straight down. So might be a little feel thin. I can see the speed nut. We're not going to obviously get the. Uh, we'll have to. Uh, do the old quarter inch turn for a bit, get a little socket on there, and uh, tighten that one down, and then go do the other side. And before I snap this in and put this wheel well on, we're gonna go underneath, grab a few under there, and then up on the top. I don't think it matters one way or the other which way you go first, or I'm just taking it, I'm doing it the exact opposite of that I took it apart, just because I think uh, putting these ends on first or securing these uh, the ends here might be a little better than I don't know. Let's say you do up top first, and then this doesn't line up, you know, because these are hard to get to. Uh, but there is enough room in there. Yes, there was. <laughs> might have to get a shorter socket. I can't really get a bite on that. So, anyways, that that one I got to get a shorter socket. I'll tighten that down. And like I said before, I snap these in and put this in. I want to do the top side and the bottom. And then we'll, uh, so let me go do the other side. I'll get to the top and the bottom, and then we'll get back to this. We've got, uh, got this fella here. All right. Where is it? I kind of put fluid film everywhere. That's why it looks wet. Uh, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then this fellow under here, seven. Looks like it clicks onto that tit there. Just heard it click. Uh, and then we can secure that. And we still have to pop this in and do them bottom and underneath. So stand by. All right, so we're underneath, and uh, this is where. This guy gets plugged into, right? But before we do that, see that just sits up in there. The three uh, hex bolts. Before we do that, we kind of got to tuck. Looks like we got to tuck these in. Oops. See how these uh, got to fold up in there, right? In this corner. This corner's got to get up in there. So I guess we probably shouldn't have uh, tightened that one side up because now we got. There it goes. And that's all there is to it and uh, you can see the the J bolt or J nut whatever you want to call it gets secured that way 
Not much doing. All right, so we got uh, the other side done. Got this bolt done and that bolt done. Now I guess we can tuck this, tuck this guy on. <laughs> Doesn't take much. Let's just get around this piece. Right. These are torps. Torps. All right, so that's that. So now I can. I just clip this, clip this guy on. Right. There we go. So that's good. Let's shine that so great. Let me go uh, do the other side, and we still have to do this piece down here. All right. So where were we? So we uh, we got them two bolts in. We bolted everything up. One, two, and this side. This is what I was talking about. That little uh, piece. I still got to do the other side. But one, two, three hex bolts. That ties that corner in together. And uh, of course, all that uh, inner skirt all done. So everything's good. The only thing we got left is uh, is this uh, little skirt. And this is how this guy goes in. So there's a little. You probably can't see it, but J. J nut up there and that's uh, and this little cutout goes around that guy there and that's it so we'll bolt this up uh, last three bolts goes up to the J nuts and that's it it's just a little skirt there and uh, let's go see there's three bolts let's go see if uh, the uh, camera will show this <laughs> and take it outside Shine her up, and that's a wrap. And we'll go get the wife, see if she likes. I uh, didn't forget anything down here. Right? All right. And I did, uh, while I was down here, I did the old fluid film. Anytime I do an oil change, I fluid film everything. Nobody likes rust. So let's get, uh, let's get that piece on and get her outside. Right. Let's see if this thing shines. This camera. Got a whole reason for this video. All right, something's wrong. There we go. Um, let's try. That is the loudest dinger known to mankind. Whoa, almost ran into the wall. Let's see. Oh, look at that. You can actually see something. Clear view. It's actually, uh, looks like a wider angle, too. Uh, I'm gonna have to, I, I think I sprayed some stuff on there. Uh, let me go try to clean that off. Let me go outdoors first. All right, so she's happy with it. Uh, so you, there's nothing I can do uh, with the crack there, or the, get the the line away, or this uh, little, it, it, you know, whatever that is, star things. Uh, if I was a body guy, I could probably, you know, whatever buff or fill that or do whatever they do. Uh, but I'm not gonna worry about it. So that came out pretty good. The camera's pretty awesome. You can finally see something. And uh, that's how you replace your camera. You got to take the entire goddamn uh, uh, grill, you know, bumper cover, everything has to come off. But it's easier than I expected. Uh, not too much involved. Maybe a dozen little screws or whatever. And uh, I didn't even have to take the wheels off. You can get to everything. So that's it. That's a wrap. Thanks for thanks for watching. And uh, she's got a filthy car. She's gonna have to wash it. That's not my job. All right. Thanks for watching. Later.